the Badgerita and I are heading to Soapstone Prairie Natural Area, which is part of City of Fort Collins, to uh, do an early March hike. Uh, Soapstone just opened, so we're uh, lucky to be out here. It's actually a perfect day to be out here. Uh, it's early March, so there's still a little bit of snow on the north facing parts of the trail, but uh, the sun's out, it's not windy. We're only uh, a couple of miles from the Wyoming border, and it traditionally is pretty windy up here. So uh, we're having a good day, and uh, we have the trail almost all to ourselves. through the hike and this is one of the things that we like to do when we are on a longer hike. Today is 7.3 miles. So there's the Badgerita enjoying my camp chair and uh, some lunch. Any thoughts on the day Badgerita? Did you bring the wine? Uh, yes, okay. I'll get that out after the video. Um, you can see in the background, maybe you can see there's some uh, giant windmills back there, and basically that direction is uh, Wyoming. So we, we're probably looking into Wyoming at this point. So this uh, piece of land is a lot of open prairie and uh, a lot of uh, small canyons. We've actually hiked up through a small canyon to get to the top of this ridge to give us the best views for lunch. So earlier in the hike, um, we kept hearing this uh, cackling gaggle of some type of bird, but we really couldn't see or identify them. But we got uh, up to a point and another guy who's on the trail, we mentioned it to him and he said, oh yeah, those are sandhill cranes. And um, a couple years ago, we had gone to North Platte to see the Sandhill Cranes. That's one of their stopovers as they're migrating. And there were literally thousands of them. And they make a very distinct sound. Uh, once you've heard it, you, you won't forget it. So we didn't really expect to see them on the trail. So thus, we didn't really know what we were listening to. Uh, we're part of the flyway in Colorado where they migrate through. So uh, that was kind of a treat for today. We didn't actually get to see them, but we did get to hear them. Sandhill cranes. If it's not uh, something you've done before, put it on your bucket list. On this trail in early March and one of the reasons is it's not very crowded this time of year in fact this area is closed in uh, I think December January February so it just opened back up again but one of the other reasons we like to do this in the winter before the summer is this is like prime snake territory rattlesnake territory and as you can see you get a lot of brush you get a lot of rocks and you get these perfectly sunny south facing slopes so uh, we've certainly seen our fair share of rattlesnakes and uh, we try and avoid them if we can
up. That's the end of another hiking day with the Sid. We uh, just finished the Mahogany Trail. It was a little bit over seven miles and about 580 feet of elevation gain. It was a great day. Uh, the weather was great. Right now we're getting a little bit of snow. That's probably the worst we've had. No breeze. The trail was great. Just a few patches of snow. So good day. Another great day hiking with the Sid. The Badgerita and the Sid out.